Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys, and here in the new year, we've got a whole bunch of as seen on TV products lined up to be reviewed. There's the Poopsie Daisy, the My Pure Mist, a whole bunch of them. But for the first review of the year, we thought we would try out a product that says they can enlarge something that everyone wishes were bigger your cell phone screen. Epic Review Guys. The As Seen on TV Magnavision Mobile Device Screen Enlarger is basically a flat lens that fits in a plastic frame. And there's another piece behind that you can put your phone on, your Kindle Paperwhite, perhaps even your Kindle. We'll try it and see what devices will fit in there. And that's about it. The lens will enlarge what is uh, set behind it. Here's some pictures of how you might use it. Though honestly, if you invite someone on a date to have dinner and a movie, <laughs> you take this out at the restaurant, good luck to you. The Magnavision goes for about $15. I picked it up at our local Fry's store. Let's see, it's a pretty lightweight package. Let's see how sturdy the device is inside. Well, I guess you don't want it to be made of metal and too heavyweight since it's supposed to be so portable. They don't give you any kind of a case to carry it around with you though. For those dates at the restaurant. Honey, I got the movie right here. Okay, I'm familiar with this type of lens. It's, um, it actually does pretty good magnification, and because it's plastic, it's very lightweight. Don't know how well it'll stand up to scratches, but there we go. Bad enough, you have to watch me in 4K. Now you gotta see me 300% larger. The lens can be positioned at different angles for your viewing comfort. And then this is the piece that you put your phone or your tablet into. A little on the flimsy side here. Let's try out some phones and devices, see how it looks. I've got a YouTube video loaded up on my Nexus 6P phone, 5.7 inch screen. I'm gonna plop it into place here, take a look, give you my impression of it, and then I'll bring the camera over so you can see. Okay. They show this being used on an airplane. I'd be a little bit worried about the phone rattling off the screen. Angling it down doesn't work. I'm too far up. I need it. Okay, there we go. This was, I'd have a hard time with this on an airplane. Got lots of glare from the lights. It's bigger. It's much less clear image. And no matter which way I point it, I'm getting lights coming through the lens from that direction or reflecting off the back. Okay, you can probably see the reflection I was talking about there. Um, let me show you my laptop here with a 13 inch screen so you can get a little comparison. Now it's definitely larger. The thing is I'm holding this down at chest level. If I put this where my head is, I'm gonna move the camera up. This is what I see when I'm sitting up. And it doesn't matter if I move this, it doesn't get the um, picture in view. I basically have to scrunch down in my seat or put this up on a box in order to see it properly. And for a comparison of the sharpness, here's my actual phone. Next up, I'm trying the smallest phone screen that we have. This is a 3.7 inch diagonal screen. This is an iPhone 4S. Mysterious Amazon Echo that's ready to take over everyone's living room. Okay, and we'll put it. On this phone, I realize the buttons are gonna be on the bottom. A little bit. Have you heard of Star Trek? Yes. That's okay. what they're saying this is. It's going to be a computer that sits in the middle of your living room that you can talk to and it will hmm. do. It's not filling the you. screen. We I mean, if I do that, it appears to, but really, there's a bunch of empty space on the sides here. Yeah, it does make the screen quite a bit bigger, I have to say that, but really loses a lot of sharpness. Here's my Kindle Paperwhite. I think this is about a six inch diagonal screen and um, it has its own lighting source inside. And of course, with this, you can make the text larger by going into settings, but let's see how it looks in here. Well, this top to bottom thing isn't going to work. And if I put it in the format they want sideways, 
I found it very hard to read this way. And here's the latest Kindle Fire HD. I'm not sure the screen size. It looks definitely bigger than the paper white. This is what it looks like here. Now when you slide it into place in the MagnaVision, you can see part of the screen, like that part, or that part, or that part, but there's no way we're going to see the entire screen at once. It's basically too large a device for this to work properly with. But even if it doesn't work with your particular mobile device, you could use it to magnify something else. For example, Shopkins. And when you're done watching your movie on the plane, this little thing snaps in here, this one goes here, and it folds up flat to put back into your purse or back into your bag. So how does the MagnaVision do meeting up to its claims of enlarging your screen by up to 300%? Well, it did enlarge all the screens I tried it with. I also felt this part was pretty flimsy for using it in a car on an airplane because there's nothing holding the phone or tablet or whatever from sliding left to right and just falling out. And then there's the issue of the picture quality. This lens really doesn't seem to give you a very crisp, clear picture. And if you've gone out and spent $750 for your retina screen phone that has the ultra super resolution, are you really gonna wanna put it behind this and look like you're watching your movie on a $100 knockoff phone? So unless you really need to have things enlarged greatly, I don't see that it's worth going to the trouble of taking the MagnaVision on your next trip. But there may be an as seen on TV product that will work out great. Could be the poopsie daisy, who knows? You can keep checking back for that video or you can click that subscribe button down below. See you on the next review. Shopping is easy when